Hi all, this is Pa from Slice Mania, and I made a new digital notebook that I hope it's easier for you to add more tabs or delete tabs or customize however you like. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is that I have this uh, cover here, but if you don't like it, you can change it because I preloaded like 10 different covers, different color covers. So right click on it, select apply layout, and here you'll see the 10 different covers that I have made and i'm using theme color so if you change the colors later it will update the whole thing now if you want to rename the tabs you can do as always edit find and replace you can go to zero one math replace all for example zero two writing replace all and zero three it's Spanish, replace all, zero four, um, social, Let's replace all. Now, if you see now, you can, you have to do this for the, for all the tabs, because as you can see now, like it doesn't fit very well, because, but because I made this template a bit easier, um, you can just fix it like very easily. Just go to slide, edit theme, scroll all the way up to the first layout here select the text boxes that have the text that doesn't fit don't fit so go here and just make it a little bit smaller so there you go so now everything fits if you don't want to use the edit final replace thing you can just select here and just change it and because I'm working on the master theme, the one on top that applies to the whole deck, it's all the tabs are changing. Well, I'm making the changes here. So it's your choice. You can do edit final replace or you can just uh, edit them here or you can leave them like from one to 10, it's up to you. I'm gonna close the master. Why is it that you can just use um, leave them like zero one zero two because you can add a table of contents that I will leave you here for you to customize if you want okay so now if you want to add more pages because this template has a lot of links for you to navigate it do not use the plus sign here to I'll add a new slide, just duplicate an existing one. For example, if I want to add more pages within math, I'm just going to uh, right click and select duplicate slide or select and control D and it will duplicate the slide. If you don't want to choose, don't want to use a blank uh, paper, you can just right click on any of the slides or if you want to change the three of them i'm just holding shift while selecting everything i'm going to right click i'm going to apply layout and i can choose blank paper dot grid or paper or line so that's up to you too you can choose any of the four now like i said before i'm using theme colors as you can see i've added a bunch of stickers oops this was not and highlights and post-its and stuff that you can just customize. These are just text boxes that you can just copy and paste and add them wherever you want. But if you want to change colors, the good thing about this template is because I'm using theme colors for the whole thing, even for the stickers, if you change the theme colors, even the stickers will update. So I'm just going to go to slide, edit theme. I'm going to click on colors, choose theme color, and I've used the like all of them because I made 10 tops. So I'm going to select this one over here and I'm going to just use this one. It's going to take a little bit because uh, when I'm screencasting, my computer is kind of slow. So bear with me. I'm just going to change all my tabs.
Okay, now that I've changed all the theme colors, I'm just going to close my master. And as you can see, all my stickers have changed their color. Is again, I'm using theme color. So if I don't like this cover, I can just apply layout and choose a different one. I'm just going to do this one. And that's how you change the colors of this template. Okay. Now, what happens if you want to? I don't need 10 tabs, I need only eight, for example. So in that case, I'm going to just go to slide, edit theme. I'm going to go to the, I scroll all the way up to this layout over here, and I'm going to delete the tabs I won't be using. So I'm going to leave like seven. So I'm just selecting everything. Like right now, I'm selecting, I think I'm selecting just text, but let's see. I'm holding shift while everything, and I'm just going to delete. See, yes, I'm going to delete, selecting every, only text. So now I'm going to select the tabs. I'm going to select them and hold shift while selecting and delete. Okay, and now I want this to look a little bit like better. So I'm just going to select everything, and I'm going to drag this over here. Okay, and now this has links and I'm going to need them. So I'm just going to, uh, but I'm going to grab them from the slides. So I'm just going to close my master. And here are the links that I need to remove the last three because I deleted those stuff. So I'm just, if I do this, I have links here and I will do the same. I'm just going to drag them there. And I'm going to copy, Control C to copy. This over here, this uh, slides over here don't have um, tabs because it's for you just to grab the stickers and use them. They're not like part of the notebook. So I'm just going to go to the first one here. And I'm going to select everything. I'm going to delete those links and I'm going to paste the new ones because these are the ones that fit. And I have to do the same for every page, okay? So I'm selecting everything, I'm deleting, and I'm pasting the new links, okay? And you have to do this for every slide, okay? So, for example, and I have to delete this because this is the ones that I'm, I'm holding shift again because I'm not using these ones. So I select them and I'm going to delete them, okay? So now I have, instead of a notebook with 10 tabs, I have a notebook with seven. And now we're gonna see how to add more, okay? I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna select everything. I'm just gonna squeeze it. So if I want to add like one more, I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to copy the text box on the top and I'm going to paste it again. And I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to send it to the back. Okay, right click, order, send to back. Okay, and I'm going to move it so it's there, there. Okay, and now this is not longer 10, this is 11. And I'm going to change the color too, but for that, I need to move the text box over. So I'm just going to select the text box and I'm moving it to the side, select the tab, and I'm going to change the color so it doesn't repeat. And now I'm going to move the text box up to its place. Whoops, it wasn't there. It's there. And I'm going to select everything again and I'm going to make it fit. So now I have 11 uh, tabs, but once you have added a new tab, you have to reset, uh, redo the extra links. So I'm just going to close it here. And as you can see, this are my links, they're transparent shapes. So I'm just going to move it to the 10. I'm going to copy and paste or duplicate. I'm going to move it on top of the 11th and I want to I need to see those, sorry. I need to see this a little bit better because it's hiding. So I'm just gonna make 
reduce my size and I don't want this to go to slide 32 anymore because I need to create a new uh, section cover. So I'm going to go to my tenth here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring it over here. This is going to be my eleventh. The color that I use is this one. And now this is a slide 34. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way up. And I want this to be, I'm going to edit. And I want this to go to slide 34. I'm going to click on it. So now it's done. Now you have to select, select all links, Ctrl C and copy, and then paste it. Delete the old ones and paste them. Yes, again, this one over here is taking to, to slide 32, which is 10, not 11. So that's why we have to select everything here, delete it, and paste the new one. So now this one will take you to 11. And you have to do this for every slide. So it's important that you, before you're setting up the, the notebook, you, knew, you know how many tabs you want. So that way you don't have to paste the link, the links so many times. So I'm gonna paste it. And you have to do this again for every slide that has tabs on it. Okay, so I hope you like it. Like I told you, this has a, like a bunch of uh, different stickers. They're made of shapes. That's why they're taking the, like the theme colors when I change them. And you can just copy and paste them and use them to add a little bit of color to your notebook. I hope you like it. Bye.